Hey friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Handbrake to compress any video file into a much more manageable file that you can use on any kind of device. Okay, so the first step is to go to your browser and go to google.com, search for Handbrake, and it's going to be handbrake.fr. Go ahead and download the latest version of Handbrake. If you're on Windows, it's going to be the option that's here. If you're on Mac, it's going to be the option that's here. Um, I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and close Safari. And once you have Handbrake open, you're going to want to choose what, what your source is going to be. And your source is going to be what the file is that you're going to be compressing. So. Um, mine's already on my desktop, so I'm just going to click on Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to hit open. And then there's several different things that you can do here. So they've got lots of uh, pre-built presets that do uh, various levels of compression and uh, change the format of like what the video is going to be. So 480, 720, yada, yada, yada. My favorite profile is going to be high profile. And the reason is, is it does an extreme compression on the video, but it also does, or it does it in such a way that you lose very little video. So it's going to compress it as much as possible without losing much detail. It looks really fantastic and there's really not any, there's very few options that look better than this one. And then on top of that, it gives you uh, surround sound and then stereo. Now, some videos have forced subtitles, so when they're speaking in Elf or Elvish or some other foreign language, it'll populate whatever they're saying in English down at the bottom. If you want that on your video file, you need to click on Subtitles, check or click on Foreign uh, Audio Search. If you're on Windows, you need to add the track and then click on Foreign Audio uh, Search. And then once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and choose the destination. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my desktop. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and hit start. And then it's going to do its thing. And this is going to take, or depending on your computer, this is going to take anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple hours. So we'll get back to this when it's done. Now that it's through creating the file or compressing the file down, uh, we can take a look at what it did. So this is the original. It was 31.07 gigs, and then it compressed it down to 4.64 gigs. So much smaller, much more easy to use, and then it's also the proper format so you can use it on any device like I talked about before. So just to quick summarize, the best options are to use high profile, and you can set that as your default if you come if you choose high profile and then come down to the gear and then choose make default. This will set it so you don't have to come looking for high profile, it'll already be selected and ready to go. And then for subtitles, um, you want to choose foreign audio search. If you're on Windows, you want to add the track and then choose foreign audio search and check forced only and burned in. That way it'll put the subtitles, it'll burn them in, that way you'll see them at the appropriate times and then they're not forced on the movie so you can watch it without seeing the subtitles when it's the language that you speak. And then audio, this should pre-populate if you're choosing a high profile, and it'll have 5.1 audio, AC3, and then AAC, and then it'll have stereo, Dolby Pro Logic 2, or um, something there, whatever is on the file. And then picture, you should never have to touch this when you choose high profile, it'll automatically default. Um, the source says 1920 by 1080, and then the storage size says 1920 by 804. The reason it says this is because it gets rid of the black bars, because you don't want to take up space for those black bars. They're automatically going to fill themselves in on whatever, uh, excuse me, whatever device that you watch it on. So just leave that alone. It'll take care of it and make it nice and pretty. And in video, you can. I mean, just leave this alone and you're fine as well. Of course, you can always play with it, but with high profile, you don't need to. It creates an awesome file that you can use with any device and compresses it down to a nice, good size. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to know where I got this file from, check out my other uh, video well, where I use Make MKV to back up my Blu-ray onto my desktop. And then look, at, look for another video that I've got coming out where I'm going to be showing you how to remove 
intros and outros on any MKV file that, that you have. This is going to be really useful for when you're backing up your uh, TV shows. That way when you go watch it on Plex, you can just roll right through the episodes. You don't have to watch the intro opening sequence over and over and over and over again and you skip right past the credits. It's really nice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of my stuff, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.